Alright guys, so today we're going to look at a couple different ways that we can make our pop-up dream home. So our first method, which is the simplest, um, works really well if you want different elements next to each other. So maybe if your background is really important. Uh, in this case, I'm going to show you a house with a garage and a tree. Something very simple. Um, so for this, we're going to need to go back to making our box form. So if you remember that, that we do just by making two lines the same length coming from the folded edge of our paper. So in my case, I have these three items that I want to pop up. I need to think about which one I want farthest in the front, which one I want farthest back. Um, so in this case, I think I want my house the farthest front. So that means that these lines need to be the longest at the house. And then I think I want the garage next. So those lines need to be a little shorter. And then finally, I want the tree um, the farthest back of any of my pop-ups. So I'm going to make those a little smaller. And be thinking about if you're adding things to the front of these, you want the width to be very similar to the object that you're adding. So once we have all those lines figured out, we figured out where we want everything, we're going to go ahead and cut along those lines, make these as neat as possible, nice and straight. You can always use a ruler to make these lines if you need to. And then, if you remember from making our box fold, we're going to fold this guy up, get a good crease, and do that to all three. Now, of course, you could have more than three. Three is the requirement for this assignment. So now we have three flaps. We're going to fold those back down, open up our paper. This step is easy if you, if you leave it about halfway open. So then you're going to push through from the back, pop those boxes forward. And with each one, it's easy if, if you pop it forward and then fold it down and crease it. Gives it a nice box shape. We're going to do that to all three. So now I have three boxes at different levels. So to finish it off, I would just glue my house here. I would glue my garage to the side, my tree to the other side. Just some simple glue. I would recommend with this form that you would color your background and color all of your different shapes that you're going to add to it before you attach everything. So that's that form. That's the simplest. So if you're doing this form, I want your design to be wonderful because your pop-up is very simple. Um, the next option is similar, but we're going to stack the pop-ups instead of putting them all separate. So it'll start the same way. Um, this is good if you want to go vertical. If you want to show um, different stories of a building or lots of different layers. So in my case, I have a picket fence, the main part of the house, and the roof. So those are all going to go back in space. So I'm going to start with the one in the middle. You always want to start with your middle piece, so my house. The same way as I have before, so just that normal box fold. Now this could be added on or it could be drawn straight on the box. Either way. So I'm going to draw two straight lines about the same length. If you're drawing it on the box, you want to make sure this is about the size that you want your house. So about like that. Cut straight up those lines. So up until the next part, it will be exactly the same. Hold it up, get a good crease, open it halfway, pop that box through. And flatten it, make sure you have a good crease here. So this is the middle layer. It will hold this piece of my house. So 
So next I want to add the picket fence. So the picket fence is going to go out in front of my house. So that means that I'm going to add a pop-up just to this half. So it will pop from here out. So that means we're going to go from this new crease. We're going to draw two straight lines. Going about as tall as my fence, not quite as tall. And this time when you cut it, make sure that we only cut through this layer. If we cut through both, then we're going to cut through the back part too, and that'll be on the top of our house, which we don't want. So I'm going to cut just through this layer. So now I have a flap on the top. The other layer is left just as it was. And then we're just making our box fold. So we're going to fold that layer over, open it up. Now this crease at the top of our other pop-up becomes kind of our new middle fold, so we're going to pop it out from there. And flatten it down. Now it's important when you do this that you leave space on both sides because otherwise you're going to cut this pop-up right off your paper and it's all going to break. So make sure you're very careful to leave space on either side. So now I have my fence. My house is going behind it. And now we're going to add a pop-up for the roof. So that's going to go here the same way that we just did the fence. So coming to this side, we're going to draw two lines straight up. I'm going to make these pretty short since my roof is slanted. I'm going to cut, make sure I'm only cutting that flap, which should be easier this time. I'm going to fold this straight up, make it a good crease, open it. So now this is your new fold your new center fold. We're going to open that up, pop it through, flatten it down. And the more layers you do, it's going to get a little harder each time. So now this one, I would attach my roof here, I would attach my house, and I would attach my fence. And you could even put something back here instead of a roof that's maybe sitting on top of your house. or Maybe you have a pool up there or whatever, um, anything like that. On these open parts, I might put uh, like a path from the gate to the door. I might put, this could be my, my rooftop pool, anything like that. So that's option two. Your last option will be what I did for my house. Um, it's very similar to another activity some of us got to do in class, not everyone. Um, this one, our our pop-up, instead of opening horizontally like this, is going to open vertically. Um, so this is just another option for you. This will put your house all the way on the ground when it opens. So your house will pop up from here. So in this case, you just need to do one line, however long you want it. This will be, again, the middle layer, so you'll have pop-ups in the middle, some coming off of the sides. So we're just going to cut up that one line. This is the tallest part of your house. It won't get any taller than this pop-up right here. So you're going to fold that flap over to the side. Try to make it even, as even as you can. Open it up. Open halfway and pop it out. So now this is kind of the base of this house. So now we can put things coming off of either side. So for instance, um, the reason I chose it is because I wanted to do a tower. I've always wanted a house with a tower. So I might put one coming off of this side. And you might put a shorter one coming off of one side to be something like a porch or a patio. So if I want a tower, I'm going to make that one taller and skinnier. 
So again, I'm just drawing that one line, and I'm only going to cut through this layer, this top layer. So I'm just cutting through this one layer. So I'm folding that flat back. Unfold, open it halfway. Now this is your new center. So we pop it forward, fold it flat. So now I have my main house and the tower or whatever popping off the side. And then if I want a porch over here, I'm going to make that shorter and a little longer. Now when you do longer things, make sure it doesn't go longer than the pop-up on the inside. So line it up and make sure this is not going all the way to the end because then you're going to cut it off. So I'm going to cut that line. I'm going to fold it back. Unfold. Open halfway. This is our new center. We're going to pop out. Fold it closed. And I've got all three of those pop-ups. I could add one up here for a roof. I could add more on the sides, anything like that. Since this is how I made my house, this was my final product. So similar, I have the tower over here. I just cut it in two pieces. Um, I added a roof to this one, just a little triangular piece of paper. I added a chimney here, which is a rectangle. Um, and then instead of adding something above the house, I added a kind of porch below the house. So, these are our options to make our houses. Uh, feel free to watch it again, and good luck!